I believe if we were butterflies, our unique colored patterns would be our expressions. One of the greatest gifts given to man is the power to express ourselves. The power of self-expression and expression in whole is so powerful that it has creative capabilities. What we express has the ability to create and destroy things at will. Hello, my name is Samuel Amuji. You can call me the wordsmith Sam. And I would like to specially welcome you to today's episode of Voices from the Forge, a radio podcast where I share with you some of my poetry, the inspiration and ideas that push them out onto paper. And today's episode will be specially centered on self-expression. Self-expression, as we know, comes in many forms. It is not only in the words we speak, but also in the various art forms, and even in the more technical fields of expertise. Self-expression is what makes us unique. I believe every everyone has a voice that makes them unique. This voice is your style. This voice is your personality and beliefs. It is in totality you at its very core. And where there is a voice, there is also a need for self-expression. I believe not being allowed to express yourself when you are bursting with ideas or opinions can be a terrible thing. And not to mention, there are also situations where you find yourself at a loss for ways to express yourself. Being in the business of expressing myself through words, I feel I know this uh, this feeling all too well. I believe it happens to most of us some of the times and some of us most of the times. These moments of dumbness, if I may call it that, or silence, are sometimes because of a lack of self-belief. I mean, those times when you doubt what you have to share is worth sharing, or is even worth receiving. This can be such a crushing silence, and there are many that have dealt with this secretly, when you have a voice but you just can't speak. I found myself at a point in my life doubting if people were ready to hear what I had to say. This doubt brought about a silence. It made me silent. I could not write and I could not express myself through poetry as I have always done. And in that moment of silence, I thought, why don't I just write about this moment of struggle that I am in? Because I thought someone else might want to hear my story. So in the first poem of today's episode, the speaker is a wordsmith whose forges are not forging any words. And this is a common problem for most artists. And the title of this poem is Voices from the Forge. Yeah, just as you guessed, this is the poem that inspired the title of this podcast, Voices from the Forge. Please enjoy. The world is waiting for the voices from your forge, for the words that are beating in the fires, the fires of your pain and victory of your sorrows and joy. The world is listening for the clanging of that hammer. They are looking out for the smoke from your chimney, the smoke venting from your soul. The world is clamoring to see the prized artifacts that you will forge in your forge. Let your billows are breathless, O smith. Your forges are cold. Your anvils are rusty. Your hammers are brittle. The ashes have silenced your fires and the deafening voices from the forge swallowed up. Alas, the smith is smitten. But somewhere in the catacombs of your soul I aspire a flicker of flame dying embers of a once blazing forge. So reach out, O smith, and pluck out a brand from the forges of your soul to feed this dead hearth, and a thirsty world will fan it ablaze. The world is waiting for the smith to awaken the forges, to beat upon the anvils to fashion words, words refined through fire, and beaten into beauty to lift once again the voices from the forge that the world desperately seeks. As I mentioned before reading the piece, this poem served as the inspiration for the title of the show. Why? 
because I see it as a call to everyone out there to be bold enough to tell your story because your story sparks a light in someone else and like fire to a tender wood our voices can make a big spark which will make other big sparks and cause a fire all around the world so awaken your forges and express yourself have you ever been among a group of people and not been there at the same time i mean you you are physically present but you're really 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 not there feelings of inadequacies and weakness often plagues us it makes us invisible people living our lives in the shadow when we should be out on display for all to see in this next poem the speaker is addressing aku who stands for all of us at certain points of our lives where we have felt not worthy and thus turned invisible the speaker beseeches aku to express herself no matter what people will say about her no matter what society may think the next poem is entitled anumakovo this is an ever phrase that translates the morning has not fully come and this was the name of a friend i had in high school when i came to understand the meaning i was struck by the depth of it we are often worried about the present it bothers us so much that we fail to see the future we shut our eyes in we shut ourselves i mean in because we feel our present is not worth sharing we hide because we think in the present we are not presentable but the name inspires us to see our present situations just to be the unfolding of the dawn and that our glorious morning night just beyond the horizon so who who can stop us from expressing ourselves but ourselves no matter what please enjoy no matter what aku here is to you because you understand here is to you because you will tell them as it is tell them tell those scoffers that just as your slips and falls are not your walking style so are you not the mistakes you made in the past tell them who wrote us off to sharpen their prophetic pencils and rewrite us tell them that they are sightless seers who saw nothing in us tell them tell the sideline critics that our seeds of praise are burdened in the grounds of faith let them know it all that whatever trouble rains may come whatever suffering winds may blow tell them that we will grow for we were built to last tell them that you are a force made to make an impact tell them tell them in the wise tongues of your fathers that enumakovo that the morning has not fully come let them know that these are but shadows that when the sun rises you will be revealed in the fullness of all what you are you are a thousand woman you are a phenomenon I wrote this poem as a nod to all women out there who have been left out in conversations. Women whose voices have been stolen from them by societal expectations and censures. So to that woman out there who is silent and is hiding, afraid and invisible because they feel they have nothing to offer, please know you are worthy. You are a phenomenon. 
You are a phenomenon, a voice built to be heard. You are special and the world is dying to see what you have to offer. So break yourself from the hold of limitations and just let it out. Just let your voice be heard. Let yourself be known. And everywhere you find yourself, show up and be present. You are part of this conversation. The next and final poem for today's episode is titled, Let It Out. This poem was written as a a kind of sequel to Numakavo. And the poem is all that its title says, Let It Out. Just as the Disney princess and Frozen sang, Let It Go, we are saying today, Let It Out. To everyone out there that is filled and is being stifled and is not being able to express themselves, all we have to say is let it out. You may not have the voice of a fairy princess or something, but you have that something the world is waiting for. It might not be huge in your estimation, but just let it out. And you who knows where this is going to take you. Let it out. Please enjoy. Here is to you because you understand. Here is to you because you will let it out. So let it out. Aku, there is a song welling inside of you. Its rhythms are the incessant waves beating against the dams of your lips. Just let it out. Your lips are quivering. Wisps of notes are escaping through your nose. That music is the very air you breathe. That music is you. So just breathe it out. But you are scared. You are bursting at your side with life-given rhythms. Yet you won't sing. Aku, live it out. But you are scared. You are scared your song is in a different language. You are scared the people of the land aren't familiar with this rhythm. Yet you are best in within. I say, sing it out. Sing it with all the colors of your soul. Sing it with the tremolos of your past and the vibrations of a flowery future. I say, sing it shrilly. Sing it softly. Sing it with all the moods a woman can summon. And when they act as cunts, Toss in a swell here, flatten a note there. I say, sing it without apology and the world will owe you an apology. For who? Who? For who is the man who dictates your tune? Let it out. So what are you waiting for? What is holding you back? Who is preventing you from letting your voice be known? What is impeding your creativity? Are you afraid it will be rejected? Sing it out. Go ahead. Start now. Start weak. Start strong. But start anyways. Speak right. Speak wrong. But speak anyway. Just let it out. Yes, all right, all right, people. This has been Voices from the Forge. This is a radio podcast produced by Radio Zane. Executive producers are Benjamin Osei and Flora Annie. This poem was narrated to you by yours truly, Samuel Amuji. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening. 
Thank you for tuning in again this week and I really hope we keep coming to you. But in order to do that, we need your support. So please consider being a patron of the Radio Zane podcast. To do that, just go to our Patreon page. It is www.patreon.com forward slash Radio Zane. I take it again. www.patreon.com forward slash Radio Zane. And Patreon is spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Please support. Thank you. Bye.